Joining us to discuss, Dr. Jennifer Connell. She's a family physician and associate professor at Rowan University. Dr. Connell, this new experimental pill sounds very promising. The company's findings so significant. They stopped the trial early. What does that tell you? It, it tells us that it looks really good. Honestly, I'm so excited about this. I'm excited about this one as well as Merck's. As a family doctor, the concept of having an antiviral to treat uh, conditions is not unusual. We have antivirals for hepatitis, for HIV, for other conditions, even the flu. So to have an antiviral for COVID actually is very exciting. It would really open up the landscape for how we're able to treat patients, treat, treat them more efficiently um, and save more lives. This is very exciting. And yes, according to Elizabeth's report and what we're seeing, um, this pill is looking very effective. I want to play a soundbite from Dr. Carlos Del Rio with the Emory University School of Medicine with a great reminder on CNN this morning. At the end of the day, the best thing you can do is get vaccinated and prevent, avoid getting infected, and more importantly, avoid getting very sick and dying if you get infected with a vaccine. The pills are there, are available, are a good thing to have, but at the end of the day, prevention is much better than cure for any disease. Definitely true, but that shouldn't stop us from being excited about this treatment, right? Absolutely not. And I, I know he would agree with that as well. I mean, we need everything and anything that we can use against this virus. He is exactly right. Uh, the vaccine is our best bet uh, to, to beating this pandemic. Everyone who's eligible should be vaccinated. However, when we think about where these pills will fall right now in terms of treatment, all I have as a physician is I've got monoclonal antibodies for people who meet certain criteria who are outpatients. Um, and that has to be given IV. It's expensive. Um, you know, it's, it's an expensive drug and it's got to be gone through an infusion center. Then there's remdesivir, but that's only for hospitalized patients. You know, to have a pill as an option to help treat patients that reduces hospitalization, reduces deaths, et cetera, might even be able to be used as prophylaxis. For me and, and I think to a lot of my colleagues, this is a game changer. Turning to the rollout of vaccines for young children, 5 to 11, parents can now search vaccines.gov for nearby locations to find places where they can get shots for their kids, 5 to 11 or 12 to 18. What should parents do if all the appointments are booked up nearby? Yeah, so, well, you know, first of all, um, this is also exciting news that we have a vaccine for kids and so many kids and parents and doctors like myself, we have been waiting for this day and the response has been tremendous. So trying to get that vaccine is the right thing to do. Um, I would say as a family physician to be persistent, um, to check with different sites multiple times. And sometimes if you go to your local pharmacy or you talk to your family doctor, they, they can tell you about the cancellation schedule. They might advise you to come at the end of the day when some shots might be left over if they weren't already given. There are ways to get vaccines sooner. I would not give up. Remember, you know, we know that COVID is less uh, likely to affect kids seriously, but it does. They still have the risk of serious progression, hospitalization. We've lost over 700 kids to COVID uh, since the pandemic began. This is tremendously important that they get vaccinated. So parents, be persistent. How are family doctors like yourself handling the influx of vaccines and the influx of families wanting it? Yeah, so I tell you, it's been a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle, at least for my practice. I'm an associate professor at Rowan University. I'm at a university practice. So it's been a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle. But um, with that said, we're really, really excited. We are giving the boosters for adults. We're giving the primary vaccine series. We will soon start rolling out uh, vaccines for kids. We're sort of doing it in a staggered approach. But pediatricians' offices are already giving them. Of course, you can get them at, at pharmacy uh, pharmacies as well. And what I would suggest to parents as well is check online. Um, you know, I, I think sometimes my first yeah. in instinct is to tell people to call, but you know, don't clog up the phone lines because yeah. a lot of people have questions. Doctor Try jumping online to find out. Exactly. Dr. Cottle, thanks so much. Let's go to the...